Well, we have our database and we're able to get um, stuff into it from our web page. But the way we did it might raise some eyebrows in some IT departments. The way we did it was we stuck the SQL right in with the C sharp code, which isn't a crime or anything, but um, it's not always the preferred method to mix your SQL in with your C sharp code like that. A lot of people would say, leave the uh, SQL inside the database. And so I'll, I'll show you now how to do that. You need to go back into uh, SQL Management Studio and that database. And then you can put the SQL in a stored procedure, sometimes called a stored PROC or SPROC for short. But anyway, you go to uh, Programmability. Now, if you expand uh, stored procedures and system stored procedures, these are a bunch of existing procedures. Sys.sp underscore, don't touch those. That's just part of SQL, and it's not for you to mess with. To create your own stored procedure, right-click Stored Procedures, Choose stored procedure, and you get this sort of template for a stored procedure. Down here is where you can put your SQL code, and you can either just type it out, or what I like to do is right click and choose Design Query and Editor, and then you can just uh, kind of, you know, put it together interactively. You're just less likely to make a typo if you do it this way. I'll change the type to insert values so it becomes an insert statement click ok and that pops it into the stored proc now we just have to finish it out we'll copy this side of the values and paste it on that side of the values and change these to parameters with an at in front of each name okay so you can see how that's insert into video the title date published is active values and then those will be the placeholders for what we're putting in there. Then you have to name your stored proc. I suggest dbo.sp followed by the table name, which is video in this case, and underscore in the action, which is insert. And then we just have to say what those incoming parameters are. We have to define them in terms of their SQL type. So um, we can go up here and look at the um, structure the table so we don't get those wrong. We see the uh, first one is a uh, VARCAR 128, so we'll put that in uh, VARCAR 128. You need a comma after that, and then the next field is, we'll say is at date published, and that's a date, comma, um, at exactive, and that's a bit, no comma after the last one, and that'll do it. Now to create this procedure, we actually have to execute this. And we see this down here. And if we refresh over here, we'll see that stored proc there. Now, we don't need to keep this. You can just close that and choose no, because that was just to create the procedure. If I right click that and choose modify, I can see that code again to redo the procedure, but I don't need to do that here. The important point is now that I have a stored procedure named SP video insert in the database, and I can call that from my C sharp code rather than putting the SQL code in the uh, C sharp code. So now let's go back to the project that is in Visual Studio, the code side of things, and go back to that uh, video service class where we have that code. All right, here's where we use the um, insert right in the code let's um i'm going to keep that in there but i'll comment it as the raw sql method and comment it out so it doesn't do anything but i'll leave it in there so that when you download this if if you want to do it that way you can still see that sample of code but the way we'll actually do it is we'll um just pass the parameters to the stored proc to do that we'll do await space con dot execute async SP video insert, capital I is the name of that stored procedure. Parameters here, just so we pass in the parameters. And the command type on this one won't be text this time, it'll be command type dot stored procedure, and don't forget the semicolon. All right, so let's save our work and close up and run this thing again. And we should get to the home page. 
and eventually yes and then it's slash video ad to get to that video ad page and try putting in another video we'll call this one video the third and again we'll just give it some kind of a date doesn't matter what the date is so long as it's you know reasonable and within our data validation and click add did I do something wrong is it gonna blow up let's see how it goes oh it went back to the home page wow well maybe that was actually a success um, let's go to SQL Server Object Explorer in Visual Studio drill down into our little database we're working with the videos table or video table I should say and um, look at its data and uh, yep there's three of them in there now remember to uh, click around if you any data looks miss seems to be missing all right so we have three rows in there now and nothing really changed I mean we're doing the same thing we did before it's just that we reworked the code a little bit so that we're using a um, stored procedure inside SQL Server to do the uh, insert we don't have any SQL code showing in our C sharp code I've left it in there commented it out for future reference in case you want to do it that way but most people are probably going to say use the stored procedure method all right you can save and close up now we'll pick it up in the next lesson